Would the graduands please turn and face the platform? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Spring Convocation 2013. Would you please join our vocalist, Alison Walmsley, in the singing of O Canada, and then please remain standing for the invocation. by many names, who is God of the ages and of our lives here and now. Today, we rejoice as we celebrate this sign of accomplishment, this rite of passage, and the fruit of much hard work and dedication. We give thanks for those who have loved and supported these convocating students along the way. To parents, grandparents, spouses, children, family, and friends, we say thank you. Thank you for the sacrifices you have made that bring us to this day. We stand in gratitude for professors, instructors, and administrators who have shared their knowledge and have given these graduates the confidence to trust their own life experiences, judgments, and insights to lead them to truth and meaning. We give thanks for the richness of our university experience, the opportunity to meet new people and to form meaningful relationships, to recognize who we are and who we are not, to cultivate our gifts and abilities, to explore new ideas, to think critically and imaginatively, and to pursue significant questions. As these academic degrees are conferred upon you today, May you take with you a strong sense of the dignity and power held within you. In Marianne Williamson's words, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. May we all be liberated from our fears so that our presence automatically liberates others. May this liberation lead us to hear the cries of those less fortunate and respond with abundance. As we seek to put our learning into practice, give us strength to pursue justice and peace and the grace to fulfill our vocation to serve others in daily life. And as we go from this place today, we ask the mover of the universe to flood our path with light, to turn our eyes to where the skies are full of promise to turn our hearts to brave music, to make us one with heroes of every age, and to fill us with deep trust in the goodness of life. Amen. Will you please be seated? Once again, graduands and distinguished guests, welcome. 
I am Elizabeth Williamson. I'm the University Secretary, and I have the honor of introducing to you the members of the platform party that you see before you. So, beginning with the front row, on my left and your right, Russell Isinger, Registrar and Director of Student Services. Patty McDougall, Vice Provost, Teaching and Learning. David Hanna, Associate Vice President, Student Affairs. Carl Still, Dean, St. Thomas More College. Laura Kennedy, our recipient this afternoon of the President's Service Award. Heather Magatu, Vice President, Advancement and Community Engagement. Karen Chad, Vice President, Research. Brett Fairbairn, Provost and Vice President, Academic. President Eileen Bushvishniak. Chancellor Vera Pezer. The Honorable Don Morgan, Minister of Advanced Education. Robert Bradger, Traditional Knowledge Keeper. The Honorable David Forbes, MLA, Saskatoon Centre. Peter Stroh, Vice President of the Alumni Association. Lori Friesen, University Chaplain. Trevor Crow, Associate Dean, College of Graduate Studies and Research. Toddy Steelman, Executive Director, School of Environment and Sustainability. Peter Stoichev, Dean, College of Arts and Science. In the second row, four of our university orators, Ryan Brook, Candice Wasakase Lafferty, Richard Devon, and Connie Rizowski. Daryl McLaughlin, Associate Dean, St. Thomas More College. Yvonne Shevchuk, Associate Dean, Pharmacy and Nutrition. Ahamai Ohayozaba, President, Graduate Students Association. Max Feinday, President, University of Saskatchewan Students' Union. And the following members of our Senate. Faye Puckett. Deborah Mihalitz. Shirley Haynes, and Leanne Abel. Rose Olfert, Professor, Johnson Shoyama Graduate School of Public Policy. Christina Bidwell, Associate Dean, Aboriginal Affairs, College of Arts and Science. Gordon Debrise, Associate Dean, College of Arts and Science. David Parkinson, Vice Dean, Humanities and Fine Arts, College of Arts and Science. And Ernie Barber, Dean, College of Engineering. And, beha and behind them, and I would ask them to stand, members of the faculty of the University of Saskatchewan. We thank the faculty, administration, and members of our governing bodies for the work they have done by supporting, teaching, and encouraging our graduates. We acknowledge the traditional territory of Treaty 6 on which we have gathered for this event. Please stand as you are able for the honor song.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Eileen Bush Vishniak, President and Vice Chancellor of the University of Saskatchewan. It is my honor to be with you today on this milestone occasion. I welcome not only the graduates who are about to become graduates, but their families, friends, neighbors, and members of the community. I offer everyone my sincerest congratulations on what has been achieved. It has been a process a very long time in the making. I will direct most of my comments to the graduates. You've spent years in lectures, labs, and libraries. You've written hundreds of thousands of words for papers and exams. You've read line after line of academic text and literary prose. You've made countless trips through the tunnels for a cup of coffee and a bite to eat, some of you at times in your pajamas. And along the way, you've no doubt made many friends and memories that I hope will be with you for years to come. All of that has led you to this point that culminates here today with a few dozen steps across this stage at your convocation to receive a parchment, your degree. You've earned that degree, which signifies your accomplishments, and that is no small feat. Earning a degree requires time, hard work and dedication, and sometimes a bit of tenacity. With this degree, you have also earned the right to reflect on your accomplishment, and you've earned some time to celebrate along with your family, friends, and fellow graduates. But if you think you're done, and that's it, I'm sorry to bring you this news. You're not even close to being done. You're just getting started. As I hope this is something you've discovered while at the U of S, learning is a lifelong endeavor. And for as much as you have put into achieving what you have today, the payoff will be even greater in the years to come because like I said, you're just getting started. Your degree opens many doors and behind each is an opportunity to pursue. Some opportunities will come because of the many things you have learned and for which you have demonstrated proficiency. Some of you in the future will be doctors, lawyers, educators, farmers, artists. Others of you will decide to follow careers in other fields and will pursue additional education. And some opportunities will come your way because of the relationships you've made during your time at the university. Those relationships that endure, whether with classmates, professors, or any other member of the U of S community, may surprise you with the introductions and access they present in the future. That's the thing about the time you've spent at the university. The education you've earned and the relationships you made contribute to a very bright future. From astrophysicists to zoologists and everything in between, today you join the ranks of close to 140,000 University of Saskatchewan alumni around the world who have opened many doors and pursued countless opportunities. The education you received at the U of S has armed you with great potential. More so than ever before, the careers we step into change year to year. They require graduates with skills, flexibility, and the ability to adapt. And as part of virtually every degree we offer, we prepare you for just that. One of the most important things we've taught you is how to continually learn. To earn a university degree, it is not adequate to simply show up for class and memorize everything you think might be on the test. I suspect many of you already know this from having tried that technique in a course or two. To earn what you are about to receive today, you needed to learn how to think critically and keep learning. That is perhaps the most important skill for the future because the only thing we can promise is that change is inevitable and that it will occur faster than ever before. Your degree equips you to be ready for this. You're going to work at your career for many years, and we hope 
that we helped you discover something you are truly passionate about. I hope that when you awaken and get ready to go to work, you face the day with the same enthusiasm and joy that I feel every morning as I prepare to come to the office. Our university over the years has been focused on the needs of our community. As the technology age has made communication instantaneous and pervasive, we now focus not just on Saskatchewan, but on our national and global community as well. That shows in our research, and it also shows in the teaching and learning activities that focus on applications. Because the U of S focuses on the needs of communities, so do our graduates and alumni who step into those communities to work. That's why your U of S degree, which I do hope you will display prominently, means so much. You are ready to be the next generation of leaders and experts needed to address globally significant issues. Your education will take you wherever you want to go. But I hope it leads you back to the U of S campus often. Because beyond preparing graduates for the meaningful and fulfilling career that they choose, we hope that you will appreciate the full university experience. That is the value of a university degree. That experience creates networks for your entire life. Those networks make you part of our U of S Husky community. And I hope you choose to stay connected to the community and tell us how you are doing. Each and every one of you, as of today, is now an ambassador of the University of Saskatchewan because what you accomplish in your life builds not only on the communities in which you live, but also the university's reputation in those same communities. And conversely, everything the University of Saskatchewan achieves as an institution increases the value of your degree. Rest assured that we will work to ensure that the U of S is better today than it was yesterday and stronger tomorrow than it is today. We will work to ensure the value of your University of Saskatchewan degree only grows and that you can be proud of your alma mater. We have faith in your ability to succeed in your chosen path. After all, you are a University of Saskatchewan graduate. Thank you.
eminent chancellor, Madam President, members of the University Senate and Board, I present to you the petition of the Council of this University that the candidates to be named, having fulfilled all the requirements of the bylaws, may, with your permission, be admitted to the degrees and certificates to which they are entitled. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the legislature of this province, and with the consent of the Council of this University, I consent to admit you to the degrees and certificates to which you are entitled and to invest you with all the powers, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto. With the graduands in the front row, please rise and come to the platform. Graduands, as you make your way forward, I'll just let you know how the conferring of degrees will unfold. As you near the first podium, please stop and face the audience as the hood will be put over your shoulders. Once you have been hooded, proceed to the first podium where the orator will present each of you by name. Once your name has been announced, proceed to shake the Chancellor's hand and the Chancellor then tells you that you have been admitted to the convocation of the University of Saskatchewan. You will then continue across the platform to be greeted by your Dean or Associate Dean of the College and to receive your parchment from them. As you go down the steps, you will be welcomed as new members of the University of Saskatchewan Alumni Association by a representative of the Association. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Arts and Science, I present to you these scholars from the College of Arts and Science and ask that you will confer on them the degree of Bachelor of Arts, three year. I present to you Deidre Leanne Aitken. April Baki. Lisa Marie Brillinger with distinction. Joanne Teresa Casavant McKay with distinction. Walker Daniel Dutka. Darren Kevin Elgar. Lana Alice Rose Garcelon. Braden James George. Melissa Ray Gervais. Laura Jane Guerrero with distinction. Amanda Hill. <laughs> Temi Dayo Jabigan, James Jabagan, with distinction. <laughs> Ray
Rachel Beatty Johnson. Danielle Kurlenko, with great distinction. Caitlin Eileen Lawrence. Haley Danielle Lovenuk. Michael Kenneth Lux. Rayleigh, Rayleigh Jade Middlebrook, with distinction. Inwan Rogers Odakor. Falashedi Laurelie Phillips. <clears throat> Kirsten Jewel Polowich. <clears throat> Kimberly Aaron Roblin. Harry Danielle Sharp. <laughs> J. Way Schwan. Brandy Lee Traxel. <clears throat> Bayani Jose Trinidad. <clears throat> Kaylee L. Unger with distinction. Lisa Ann Waloshin. Craig Richard Waloshin. Anna Wu. <laughs> Zhao Chao Yan. Kimberly Garling Yuan. Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree of Bachelor of Arts three year. <clears throat> Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Arts and Science, I present to you these scholars from the College of Arts and Science and ask that you will confer on them the degree of Bachelor of Arts, four year. Nathan Elliott Abs. Thank you. 
Dorian Ackleton. Julian E. Ogrund. Robin Jacqueline Baxter. Kayla Alyssa Bomi. Marina Amber Burke. Esther Ray Casey with distinction. Angel Brandy May Chell. Jared Scott Dohe. Rachel Erker. Wei Sei Feng. Rebecca Ann Fleming with great distinction. Brandon Peter Michael Friesen with distinction. Jill Ann Frith with distinction. Robert Elliot Paul Goldman. Janine Maria Denise Grazing. Aaron Page Gray with distinction. Matthew Anthony Grella. Shannon Hart with distinction. Amy Herbert. Melissa Aaron Janswick with distinction. Heba Gabre Jimmy. Ashton Therese Keller. John Adam Langen. Jackson Lee. Imran Malik with distinction. (laughs) 
Rosalie Anna McEwen. Vanessa April Moberly. Morgan Lee Nebo. Drew Addison Pachkowski. Lisa Jean Peberty with great distinction. Brando Query. Wayne Adam Roman. Victoria Romero. Alyssa Haley Rudick. Jean-Pierre Christian Seguin with distinction. Rianne Stacy Sarita. Isaiah Sean Anthony Stankowski with distinction. Luke Jacob Joseph Struby. Tanner Lee Tatro. Amber Dawn Thompson. Michelle Christine Thompson with great distinction. Matthew John Michael Thompson. Tyson Glenn Unruh with distinction. June Wei. Kara Linda Walchak. Rebecca Teresa Edith Zimmer. Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree of Bachelor of Arts for a year. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Arts and Science, I present to you these scholars from the College of Arts and Science and ask that you will confer on them 
the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honours. I present to you Torin Shea Adams with honours. Rebecca Jane Anderson with honours. Nicole Ray Bear with honors. Matthew Jonathan Andre Benson with honors. Danielle Brett Bruni Bossio with high honors. Kelsey Michelle Drayton with high honors. Carolyn Michelle Dunn with honors. Luke Gordon Engel with honors. David Allen Gubbins with high honors. Troy Adam Hagen with honors. Kimberly Ann Hartwig with honors. Mayor Johanna Holtzlander with high honors. Travis Allen Meyer Homanuk with high honors. Tara Marie Cooey with high honors. Roy Dennis Lavalli with honors. Patricia Therese Louis with honors. James Stan McKenzie with honors. Victoria Elizabeth Martin with honors. Benjamin Jonathan Newdorf with high honors. Taylor Reed Pierce with high honors. Brittany Ann Joy Pickering with honors. Christopher Thomas Plishka with high honors. Eric William Rausch with high honors. Okay. 
Nazli Samak with high honors. Kelsey Christine Sawatsky with honors. Vincent Matthew Sawchuk with high honors. Anna Elizabeth Schneider with high honors. Mara Karina Salanders with high honors. Cassie Wynn Smith with honors and high honors. Megan Lee Ann Solberg with high honors. Landon Graham Squires with high honors. Justin Melvin Thompson with high honors. Christopher Wing Chi Tsang with high honors. Corey Joe Weeb with honors. Matthew Aaron Weens with high honors. Wing Yang Yung with honors. Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honors. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Arts and Science, I present to you these scholars from the College of Arts and Science and ask that you will confer on them the degree of Bachelor of Science, three year. I present to you Ayla Michelle Andrus. Jade Allison Bashtold with distinction. Chantel May Irene Bell. <laughs> Sukdeep Binning. <laughs> Michael Jonathan Boymuk with great distinction. Eric Ronald Chang. Puneet Kawa Chawla with great distinction. Raman Kao Chawla with great distinction. <laughs> Ra
Zhan Deng with great distinction. Evodi Longgang Jomu. Alexander Thomas Dolman with distinction. Holly Ewert with distinction. Chantel Carey Gamble with distinction. Bailey Jane Guichon. Carly Ann Hishka with great distinction. Bradley Alexander Little with great distinction. Jerome Corda Lumigan. Kyle Andrew McIntosh with great distinction. Hiba Farooq Rahman. Brendan Wayne Renault with great distinction. <laughs> Lucas John Robinson with great distinction. <laughs> Weihu Tan. Jenny Beth Walls. Nicole Ashley Tyann Wileyman. Sarah Lindsay Yakaleshek. Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree of Bachelor of Science three year. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Arts and Science, I present to you these scholars from the College of Arts and Science and ask that you will confer on them the degree of Bachelor of Science four year. Abduadi Jawad Aljumaya. <laughs> Lindsay Don Atosh with distinction. <laughs> Mibor Atem. Aik. Michael Brandon Berry. <laughs> D. 
Devin Stein Behoon. <laughs> Maxine Ann Butler. Alicia Dawn Chapman. Megan Elizabeth Congram with distinction. Susie Colleen Conrad. Kaylee Brooke Crawford with distinction. Julia Catherine Crook Devitt with distinction. Taylor Bennett Davis with great distinction. Courtney Beth Deering. Andrew Peter Doig with great distinction. Jonathan Stephen Donahue. Ian Alexander Donald with great distinction. Daniel Amaditon Fadar. Anna Marie Gallak Harmonic. Jeffrey Edward Garou. Christopher Headley. <laughs> Marina Lynn Jones with great distinction. <laughs> Gregory Garrett Kaputinsky. Victoria Kali Krishan. Manvir Mandy Kwar Lit with great distinction. Amanda Kathleen Lapinski with great distinction. <laughs> Sofan Liu with great distinction. <laughs> Kaylee Marie Lind with great distinction. Anna Magdalena Macht.
Ty G. McGee. Gurdip Singh Mal. Brett Alexander Mario. Nur Fawahida Mod Yusuf Mokles. <laughs> Kathleen Ann Newdorf with great distinction. Vincent J. Nicoli with great distinction. Aquacar Atosi, nine pence. <laughs> Jessica Uchechku Noasu. Anthony Gordon Pacholko with great distinction. Mark Stephen John Pisichniak. Sylvia Fung with great distinction. Mackenzie Kyle Power with distinction. Jessica Mary Pratchler. Elizabeth Ferguson Kwan with great distinction. Benjamin Sigamoni Ravichinder. Alexis Elizabeth Reed. Bryn William Reddy with distinction. Amanda Megan Rissling with distinction. Robert L. Rosler with distinction. <laughs> Jessica Gilda Giuseppina Romeo. Jessica Marie Rolio. Robinder Singh Sahi. Ryan Peter Sanch with great distinction. <laughs> Rebecca Lynn Shumay. Aaron W. Slusser with great distinction. Michelle Speranza with great distinction.
Amber Lee Sprague. <laughs> Allison Sprout, with great distinction. Elizabeth Ann Ross Zabo. Shi San Tan. Nigel Richard Tinson. Eric Philip Tutosi with great distinction. Sarah Denise Vandenbrink. Krista Nicole Weinberger with distinction. Jamie Lynn Willems with great distinction. Michael Wolsfeld. Evan Andrew Wyshynski. <laughs> Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree of the Bachelor of the Science for year. Connor Christopher Yu. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Arts and Science, I present to you these scholars from the College of Arts and Science and ask that you confer them on them the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours. Kimberly Aktimichuk. Madison Brett Otto. Kaylee Louise Arsenault. Nina May Becker. Christopher Matthew Bell. Danae Bryn Buker. Emily Amanda Botu. Zoe Elizabeth Brewster with high honors. Amber Lynn Burton with honors. Brett Andrew Catton with high honors. Melissa Marie Jakawi with high honors. Desiree 
Marie Dennis with honors. Angus Mackenzie Dickin with honors. Scott Matthew Duedick with honors. Curtis Jens Hewlett with high honors. Heather Hodgson with high honors. Lee Christine Huber with high honors. Lauren Kerr with honors. Erica Aileen Kovac with high honors. Abish Kumar with honors. Jimmy Lamb with high honors. Jada Lynn Lamming with high honors. Emily Frances Latouche with high honors. Chanji Lee with honors. Danielle Aaron Levesque with high honors. Ting Ting Lee with high honors. Brittany Rose Lines with high honors. Yifan Lee with high honors. Elisa Catalina Martinez Pene with high honors. Andrew Norman May with high honors. Dean Michael Meek with honors. Alicia Wynn Middlebrook with honors. Jordan Edward Mahalitz with honors. Tatiana Naboob Sally with high honors. Daniel Apong Amaki with honors. Christopher James Osback with honors. Kayla.
Kayla Cassandra Parker with high honors. Dania, Dana, Elizabeth Pinnell with high honors and honors. Lauren B.B. Rakochi with honors and high honors. Shayla Randy Reynolds with honors. Madison Christopher Shar Sharabat with honors and high honors. Yi Chao Chen with honors. Christine Elizabeth Ann Sinclair with high honors. Serene Sinabu so cadarable with high honors. Benjamin John Stang with honors. Kaylee Amber Turner with honors. Laura Margaret Weir with honors. Lindsay John Nicholas Weslowski with high honors. Christopher Kirk West with high honors. <laughs> Megan Dawn Woloschuk with honors. <laughs> Howard Dean Zip with honors. Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree of Bachelors of Science Honors. With one more. Jessica Lorraine Zerloff with honors. Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Arts and Science, I present to you these scholars from the College of Arts and Science and ask that you will confer on them the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Science, four year. Mike Stanley Sheehan, with great distinction. Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree of Bachelor of Arts Science for you. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Arts and Science, I present to you these scholars from the College of Arts and Science and ask that you will confer on them the degree of Bachelor of Arts and Science Honors. Michelle Lynn Fomedley with high honors.
Dallas Gregory Tolls with honors. Please join me in congratulating the recipient of the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Science Honors. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of College of Graduate Studies and Research, I present to you these scholars from the College of Arts and Science and ask you to confer upon them the degree of Master of Arts. M.D. Tavin Aslam. Lyndon Andrew Yasek. Jolina Savannah Leader. Shi Shi Li. Moni. Tuk Idayo Odeni. Chi Chi Q. Shirvin Raman. Salesi. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree Master of Arts in the College of Arts and Science. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the faculty, of the College of Grad Studies and Research, I present to you these scholars from the College of Arts and Science and ask you to confer on them the degree of Master of Science. Guan Ku Liu. Christina Louise McKechnie. Amy Lynn Noakes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree Master of Science in the College of Arts and Science. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the faculty, of the College of Grad Studies and Research, I present to you these scholars from the Johnson Shoyama Graduate School of Public Policy and ask that you confer on them the degree Master of International Trade. Wallace Dasuk Oyam. Waisam Bala Sahil. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree Masters of International Trade in the Johnson Shyama School of Public Policy. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Grad Studies and Research, I present to you these scholars from the Johnson Shyama Graduate School of Public Policy and ask that you confer on them the degree of Masters of Public Administration. Catherine Joan Cousins. Dale Allen.
stretch. Carla May Lucian. Irina Lobach. Whitney Mosley. Candace Linda Pete. Julien Rayanne Restall. Rashid Sumor. Yiting Tang. Michael James Beltre. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree Masters of Public Administration in the Johnson Shyama Graduate School of Public Policy. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Grad Studies and Research, I present to you the scholar from the School of Environment and Sustainability and ask that you confer on them the degree of Master of Sustainable Environmental Management. Shi Zhao. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree Masters of Sustainable Environmental Management in the School of Environment and Sustainability. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present our PhD graduates. The custom at the University of Saskatchewan is for our PH graduates, once they have been admitted to their degree, to be met by their supervisor and escorted to join the platform party in a symbolic welcome to a global community of scholars. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Graduate Studies and Research, I present to you these scholars from the College of Graduate Studies and Research and ask that you confer on them the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. I present to you Ushan Iranjan Alakun. Courtney Riley Fiddler. <laughs> Terry Anthony Kowalchuk. Shi Lu Mao Mao Jennifer Mary Shea.
Tao Song. Chad Dale Stewart. Lisa Nicole White. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in the College of Graduate Studies and Research. Eminent Chancellor, in the name of the faculties, I ask you to grant the degrees and certificates in absentia to those students who have met the requirements to graduate but were not able to be present today. At the request of the faculties, I authorize these degrees and certificates to be granted. Eminent Chancellor, honored guests, faculty, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Peter Stoichev and in my role as the Dean of the College of Arts and Science, it's my privilege to present to you this afternoon the recipients of the college's highest graduating awards. The first is the 2013 Earl of Besborough Prize in Science, which is being given to Jamie Lynn Willems. Jamie Willems, who graduates today with a Bachelor of Science four-year degree with great distinction with a major in food science, is this year's recipient of the 2013 Earl of Besborough Prize in Science. Jamie graduated from Waldheim School in 2009 and began her studies toward a Bachelor of Science in the fall of 2009. In addition to an entrance scholarship, Jamie has received numerous other honors and awards, including the Hatlett Family Memorial Fund Scholarship the John Spencer Middleton and Jack Spencer Gordon Middleton Undergraduate Scholarship, the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council Undergraduate Student Research Award, the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council Canadian Graduate Scholarship, Masters, and the Molson Undergraduate Book Prize. Jamie has maintained a consistently outstanding academic average and has also been a valuable student researcher. As one of her instructors observed, Jamie has excellent analytical skills and displays good judgment. Faculty members in the Department of Food and Bioproduct Sciences remark that in addition to Jamie's academic talented talent, she is well respected among her peers and is a pleasure to have in the laboratory and our department. Jamie also demonstrates the insight which will make her an excellent graduate student and researcher in the years to come. Jamie's immediate plans after graduation include pursuing master's studies in the Department of Food and Bioproduct Sciences at the University of Saskatchewan in September. Eminent Chancellor, I am pleased to present Jamie Lynn Willems as the 2013 winner of the Earl of Besborough Prize in Science. for the 2013 Spring Convocation three-year medal. It is awarded to the most distinguished graduate in a three-year program in the College of Arts and Science, and it is my pleasure to present Panit Kaur Chavla as the 2013 recipient of this medal.
Neat is graduating today with a BSc three-year degree with great distinction with a major in biology. Kanit graduated from high school in Calgary in 2009, winning an Alexander Rutherford scholarship and began studying in the College of Arts and Science in the fall of 2009, where she received a University of Saskatchewan entrance scholarship. Kanit has since received several scholarships at the post-secondary level, including the Michael B. Zink Memorial Scholarship, the Harvey Undergraduate Scholarship, and a Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council scholarship which facilitated her project on transport mechanisms in cystic fibrosis. In addition to, as one of her professors noted, her strong academic ability, Panit's volunteerism and work history testify to a strong commitment to community. She is actively involved as a volunteer with the Sikh Society of Saskatoon and is also a tutor for students with reading issues at St. Michael's Community School. She is also actively engaged in outreach with senior citizens. Panit also enjoys hiking and is an avid runner, having completed the Miles for Smiles 5-kilometer run in September 2012 and is preparing for her first half marathon in June of 2013. Panit has completed her first year of studies at the College of Medicine. Her future career plans include a lifelong dream of working with Doctors Without Borders. Upon completion of her medical training, she is looking forward to making a difference in her community and also returning to India for a stint of volunteer medical service. Eminent Chancellor, I am pleased to present Panit Kaur Chavla as the 2013 winner of the Spring Convocation Three-Year Medal. Chancellor and honored guests, the Thomas Dice Class of 38 World War II Memorial Prize is presented at Spring Convocation to a student of St. Thomas More College or member of Newman Center who has, de who has demonstrated all-round excellence or leadership and has notably enriched the life of St. Thomas More College or the Newman Center. This year's recipient is Mara Sealanders. enriched the life of St. Thomas More College in multiple ways. While completing her honors degree in English, Mara served on the editorial board of Imadius Race, the college's liberal arts journal. She participated in the service and justice project as the social media coordinator of the Saskatoon Peace Coalition, and as a member of the St. Thomas More Just Youth Group, she helped to bring about the first campus-wide Think Fast, which raised money for the relief of hunger in the Global South. This summer, Mara will visit India on a Hannon Travel Scholarship, where she will complete a volunteer placement at a development organization and spend time in a Buddhist ashram. In the fall, she will be in a master's program in journalism at Carleton University. Eminent Chancellor, I am pleased to present this year's Thomas Dice Memorial Prize to Mara Sealand. The Governor General's academic medals are awarded to the undergraduate student and graduate student with the highest academic standing. This afternoon, it is my pleasure to present a, a Governor General's medal to Jamie Lynn Willems. You. You've heard quite a bit about Jamie already. She's graduating with a Bachelor of Science four-year degree with great distinction in food science. She's received many awards, including one she just picked up a few minutes ago. She's been involved in several different research projects in the Department of Food and Bioproduct Services and the Department of Chemistry. She placed second in a Chemistry Research Awards Day poster competition and has authored a scientific paper in the prestigious Journal of Agriculture and Food Chemistry. Jamie enjoys the outdoors, especially hiking and biking, and loves reading. She has also been involved with helping raise funds for charities 
and nonprofit organizations such as the Mennonite Central Committee and the Congo Mercy Home. You've heard that Jamie plans to start a master's program in the fall, but her ultimate goal is to receive a PhD in food science and from there to work either in leading research in academia or in industry. Congratulations. And I have one more award to give out. The President Service Award honors individuals who have enhanced the work environment by providing extraordinary service to the university community, who have inspired, supported, and respected the endeavors of others, and have achieved this distinction through dedication and commitment. It is my pleasure to present the award today, the President Service Award, to Laura Kennedy. Laura Kennedy is the University of Saskatchewan's Associate Vice President, Financial Services and Controller. Laura is well known for personal and professional commitment to the university community. Starting as Budget Director in early 1993 and continuing after assuming her current position in July 1995, she has led multiple initiatives within the Financial Services Division. Many of those initiatives have been to accommodate changes in financial reporting, others to enhance the university's financial practices, and she has done it all while managing a staff of about 90 in the day-to-day -day financial activities so vital to a modern public organization. Laura is held in high esteem for the expertise and professionalism she brings to her work. She has what many describe as a quiet, effective leadership style. Her role as Associate Vice President has also created opportunities for her to teach people what it means to be financially responsible. Whether she is working with members of the University's Board of Governors, college representatives, her own staff, or this president, Ms. Kennedy patiently educates about what needs to be done, but also why it needs to be done. Laura's exemplary and tireless service has even garnered her national recognition. Her work as chair of the Canadian Association of University Vision Business Officers Finance Committee earned her that organization's Outstanding Contribution Award in 2009. A consummate professional who willingly tackles every challenge and does it with good humor and smile Laura Kennedy has demonstrated that she is a very worthy recipient of the President's Service Award. Congratulations, Laura. Eminent Chancellor, Madam President, platform participants, graduates, and guests. We recognize that this is the last convocation season for Chancellor Vera Pezer. Madam Chancellor, we would like to thank you for your years of dedicated service to the Alumni Association. Good afternoon, my name is Peter Stroh, and I'm a proud member of the University of Saskatchewan Alumni Association and currently Alumni Association Vice President. I received my science degree in 1970 and received education degrees in 75, 79, and 1985. As a member of the University of Saskatchewan Alumni Association, it is my pleasure to congratulate the class of 2013 and welcome each of you as our association's newest members. Today, as you receive your degree, your relationship with the university changes forever. 
you are now a member of the University of Saskatchewan Alumni Association. You have joined our alumni family, a family with a storied history of excellence, a family of well-accomplished and distinguished alumni. You joined the likes of Frida Miller, a leader in the field of neuron stem research that could pave the way to significant advances in the treatment of everything from spinal cord injuries to Parkinson's disease. And Carl Miller, a recipient of the Alumni Association Achievement Award. Carl is a founding partner and president of Meridian Development, a leading Saskatoon developer who is responsible for projects like the new student residence in the college quarter. Clearly, you are now in good company, and deservedly so. You are the next generation of alumni who will confidently carve your own path and add chapters to the story of our great university, a great university over a century in the making. As you embark on new endeavors and build your careers, be sure to draw on your fellow alumni. Remember the role that this institution has played in your life and make a conscious effort to keep in touch. But most importantly, display the degrees which you have received today with great pride, wherever you are, to let the world know that you are a difference maker and a leader. You now have the knowledge and the tools to make a difference, and we can't wait to see what you can do next. On behalf of all of us who have come before you, a very warm welcome and heartfelt congratulations. Welcome to the University of Saskatchewan alumni family. This brings our convocation ceremony to a close, but before we do, I would like to thank a number of people. First, Darren Olerking and the University Wind Orchestra. Our vocalist, Allison Walmsley. Our signer, Chrissy Haynes. Danielle Redoulier, Convocation Coordinator, and all the members of her team in making these ceremonies a success. Finally, to the graduates, Please enjoy today and savor your success. You have acquired an important key to your future, but your degree is not your only acquisition today. It combines with other important but less tangible benefits which have shaped you and will contribute to who you are in the future. For the rest of your life, you will retain a treasure of memories of your time at the University of Saskatchewan, of faculty who made a difference, of your fellow students, and experiences, some enriching, and if a few were just a little less so, even then, you were still learning. You are an alumnus of a proud and successful university. Take that legacy with you wherever you go. The University of Saskatchewan is the bond that unites us all because we have all been touched in one way or another by our experiences as part of the university. Those who came before us established this bond now I ask you to help ensure that it remains strong in the future. I ask you to please remain seated until the platform party has left the stage. 